nice to give them a chance to learn um, what they're confident and how I'm moving on the mound and um, just able to get outs. So I, w- I would have loved to go back out. Pitch count was in a good spot, but uh, I'll leave me leading off. I understand the moves, so keep it. You, you, you mentioned earlier in this year, like setting a new routine between starts and things like that. How, like, how much do you attribute that to uh, helping you sort of get on this run? Like, what do you think is, has allowed you to really settle into the season too? Um, it, that routine really just helps me get comfortable. Um, I know what I'm going to be doing pregame on each certain day. Um, and it, it really helps me like kind of lock in what I need to work on each day. Go so next to Matthew Robertson. Jordan, coming to the ballpark today, knowing that Alcantara is pitching for the Marlins, do you feel like you have to bring it a little more, knowing that the other team is throwing one of their best guys? Nah, um, I'm just worried about their hitter. So I was a little worried about getting in the box facing 99, but uh, I knew my guys were going to get him. How was it for you hitting today? I mean, I've, I haven't hit in, I think I hit in 17 against um, Nova. So he's throwing heavy sinkers, but not not 97, 99. So uh, it's definitely eye-opening how hard hitting is. Thank you. Yeah. Any, we can go next to Eric Boland. Jordan, I know you guys don't necessarily think about it when you're out there, but does the lack of run support ever frustrate you? No. Uh, I feel like I learned. But, um, I know they're trying hardest. Um, they're they're playing great defense for me and really trying to put together good ABs. Um, wear down the pitcher, and we got them tonight. But um, I've always got their back. I'm not ever going to be frustrated at them.